So today, I'm going to be trying hyperrealism for the first time. To be clear, I've been doing decent realistic portraits for a while now. They look realistic enough and I'm happy with what I create. But lately, I've been seeing everybody taking things to the next level. If what I did was realism, they did hyper-realism. Was it inspiration, motivation, or just plain jealousy? Well, I don't know. Whatever the case, I just could not continue looking at awesome drawings on Instagram without doing anything. I had to make something magnificent myself. I found a killer reference photo on Instagram, so it's time we grid it and draw the outline for the face. The child's play is over now. It's time to start this grand portrait. And if you thought that I was going to start with something else, then you must be joking because here at this legendary art, we always, always start with the eyes. tip when drawing. When your charcoal pencil is in a beautiful condition like this, don't be lazy. Get your blade out and sharpen it. Whatever lines or strokes you will get when your pencil is well sharpened will always be better than when it is blunt. Now we start the first step for the hyper realism and that is creating the wrinkles for the eyes. I get my kneaded eraser out, mold it into a fine point and I dab white lines on the paper to form the wrinkle pattern. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. Well, the eyes are done, it's time we get started on the main meat of the project, shading the skin itself. We are going to start with the nose using our 2B graphite pencil and then later on, we will get to use the charcoal powder. Since this is my first venture into hyperrealism, I watched a ton of YouTube tutorials. There were many different processes, many different methods that everyone used to create their hyperrealistic skin. But one thing I noticed is that they first created a base shade. They shaded the skin normally with graphite or charcoal first before they started to add the skin texture. And that is exactly what we are doing now. I wanted to start to create the skin texture for the nose right away but I thought let's not be hasty let's kill two birds with one stone and shade the cheeks also so that we can create the skin texture for everything together okay now to create the skin texture what I did was that I created dark dots first and I did not just create these dots blindly I looked at the reference photo and I noticed that they came in different shapes not just circular dots you'll also want to pay attention to the direction of the skin texture we will rise up and we follow the path that we believe in no we're not gonna stop until we reach it oh all you need to know is that we're holding on we rise up from the dust and claim my throat now 
after creating the dark dots, the next thing that we do is to create the white dots, the white parts of the skin pores. Now the Tombow Mono Eraser would have been the best for this since it has a small tip. But uh, since I don't have that, well, I'm going to use what I've got and that is the kneaded eraser. now we move on to the forehead but at this point i had already gotten some experience with this rather than start with the darker dots i started with the white dots instead it was also around this time that i posted on my instagram and art by russell suggested to use blending stump for the dark dots rather than using a pencil like i did previously was already taking too long but I moved on with the lips I lay a base shade also for this as usual and then I add the details on top later yeah Everybody knows that I'm breaking down Everybody knows I ain't faking now Everybody knows my heart's faking now Yeah, she hates me now, I made mistakes but now I don't ever wanna be alone I don't really ever feel at home On my own, in the zone That's the only way I know Feeling low, about to blow back up I won't ever let the doubt creep in Gotta pop a couple more Now usually, when night time approaches I pack up and I call it a day But darkness is not stopping us today We have to finish this as quickly as possible <laughs> I'm alone, I'm alright It's so cold outside I'm alone, I'm But uh, you know what they say, uh, body no be firewood. <laughs> the body needs its rest. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day, I guess. I'm tired. It's a new day, man is refreshed. Now, let's finish this thing. This took me roughly 9 hours to finish over a span of 2 weeks so I hope you enjoyed this so far because it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the reveal. <laughs> <laughs>